Howdy y'all, it's your friend and mine, Around the Wheel, and we are on level 11 of the Objects and Functions set in the Neo Limmix Gravity Pack. Gravity Pack? Neo Limmix Introduction Pack. <laughs> we got three Limmings. Three of them have to be saved from this extremely blue, extremely radioactive laboratory. Looks like we're going to be learning about updrafts today. What's updraft? Nothing. What's up with you? <laughs> updrafts prevent lemmings falling through them from splatting. Okay. They also slow down the fall of normal lemmings and floaters while they cause gliders to glide up Lord's Luglin. Splat pads make any lemmings that are not a floater or a glider splat if they land inside their trigger area, no matter the distance they fell. That's scary. Anti-splat pads let all lemmings survive if they land inside their trigger area. To see which object is which, you can rely on clear physics mode. Again, ugh. I don't know about that. They look the same? So do they look the same and I have to use clear physics mode to tell which is which? Or do they have distinct appearances? Uh, huh. Let's see if you can figure out how to distribute the glider and the floater correctly here. Wink. Okay, let's do it. Let's hit it. Let's see what we've got. What we're up against here. Okay. So we've got one floater, one glider, and three lemmings. So one of them is not going to be... One of them is not going to receive a fun floaty toy at all. But we got two builders and one fencer. Where is that fencer going to be put to use? Probably right here. Okay, so we have the splat pads. Let's see here. So this one is a, this is an anti-splat pad. And this one is a splat pad. Okay, so they are different colors. Okay, good. I was hoping they would not, like, actually be the same graphical object with just a different setting that can be toggled. So they do actually look different. That's good. Okay. So let's see. Let's figure out what's going on here then. Um, okay, so we're going to have to get someone going along. This is probably where the glider is going to go. Because they will get way ahead of the rest of the group here. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I think the one in front is going to be a glider. And then I'm going to need someone to build over the pit. So I bet the back one is going to be the floater. Let's try it. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, they come out pretty slowly. 50 is a pretty slow release rate in Neolimics. It's not the... It's like the equivalent of one in regular lemmings. Okay, so let's see. Let's see the drop here. Okay, yeah. So if I make him a glider, he's going to go all the way through to the end. And he's going to be fine here because this is an updraft. So, all right. I'm going to make this one a floater then. All right. Let's see how this works out. Hopefully I've got it going okay. Yes, that lemming survived because of the, because of the wind. All right. So I think this is one wide... And they're both going to build. Like, yeah. So, okay. Two builders and then one fencer to the end. Or is there a better way to do this? So, I thought I might have to slow him down. But... Okay, the updraft will keep the non-floater from splatting, but this is a splat pad, so now I'm a little nervous. Now I'm kind of a nervous purvis. Okay, so he's going to get there. I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to watch this bear out real quick. So he's going to go all up. It's going to blow the jet stream up his booty hole. Okay, and then so now... So, this is no matter what, if you're not a floater or a glider, yeah, he's going to die, right? So, he's he's going to be fine. He's not going to hit... Okay, I could have him... Well, that would have been too slow to work out. So, this is not going to work out. So, I need to figure out how to distribute this, because this is death. Yeah, that's not what we wanted. But this one is fine. So, and then... But you have to use your fencer here. So I have to figure out the way to slow everybody down. Yeah, this is... You have to use your fencer here. So it's not like you use it... It's not like the glider hits up here and then you use it here or something. That doesn't work out. 
Only two limbings saved. So, hold on, hold on. Yeah, let's just let it end the level, because I need to kind of look it back over and rethink it. Alright, this time let's try letting the one who doesn't do any gloating or flighting. Gloating, flighting, floating, gliding. That one should go first. So, and then we're going to do the glider. So, we're going to do that one here, and then you get to be the floater. Okay, let's see just how much that slows him down on the build. That's still kind of scary to me. Okay, is he going to get across the pit in time? That's what I need to see. This is going to be... I think he's going to make it. I think he's going to make it, and he's going to be fine. So that will give... Oh! That just barely works. But it does work. So, so yeah, now I have one builder left over to get this build. Okay, so... Alright, come on now. Alright, you've only got a little bit to do this. You can't waste a whole lot of time gliding. Okay. And then, yeah. It doesn't... It won't take much to get it going at all. I think as long as you fall out of the trigger area here... Ah, that's still in the trigger area. Dang it. Okay, come on, come on, come on. You don't have all day here. Oh, but he still landed in the... Yeah, it doesn't matter the height. It's got to get over the entire trigger area. So maybe I should do it from like... But he glides from... He glides from bum 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 to here and then comes down here and onto it, right? So let me back this up a lot. Okay, thank you. We did not need to hear the sound again, game. Thank you, though. So, hmm. All right, maybe... Okay, yeah, I need to build over the entire trigger area, which is from about... Maybe he's coming on too fast. The fencer is definitely needed here. But maybe I'm just not separating them enough. Like, it's very close, but I'm just not getting there. Uh, so he comes down... Okay, so if I... Okay, building from right here should do it, probably. As long as he can get that done in time, and I think maybe he will. Boy, that's really close for a tutorial level. That is... That is a fine cut for a level that's trying to teach you how to do... But I, I get it, okay. People said there was going to be some bite to this pack. Because it's an eco to lot pack, so there was going to be some. There we go. Now you fence up through the pillar, and everybody makes it. One and two coming along the way, and then three. Let's go ahead and uh, speed you up. Wow, that's a barely noticeable fast forward to me. It's not quite as fast forwardy as it's been in the past. That's strange. All right, tough level, toughish level. I'm I'm a little taken aback by the the fangs that that level had that was a that was a bit of a rough one but we made it and we've learned about the anti-splat pads what nightmare fuel object awaits us next stop rewind and go four lemmings gotta save three of them so we've got two hatches here and a pretty precarious situation to start stressful situations should be paused right yet mistakes can be easily made and we want to avoid doing the whole level again because of one misstep. Introducing frame stepping. Pause the game and use the following hot keys to rewind and skip some frames ahead. Six skips ahead by one single frame. Also clicking the mouse button skips ahead one single frame, which is my preferred method, honestly. Two rewinds by one frame. I've been using that a little bit. You can also use the red arrow buttons for these functions. Holding a button will rapidly continue to perform the corresponding function. While rewinding, your old actions are still saved in a replay and will replay again if not canceled by clicking the left mouse button inside the level area or performing another action. A red R above the skill bar indicates this. Very good then. So if this is just pausing and frame stepping, then I don't think I should be too worried about it. Let's see what happens here. We've got a stoner, four builders. Uh, this looks like maybe a stacker. Okay. And then two bashers and a fencer. Oh, four entrances here. Okay, so we do not have... Okay, two of them came out at the same time. Oh, this is a 99, so that's what happens with the... Okay, I see, I get it. Okay. 
So, let's see here. How do we want to handle this? So, there are four lemmings. So, only one from each side. So, here's where the frame stepping comes in. As soon as he hits the ground, we want to have him build to here. Alright, where are we going to put a stoner? Right here, probably, because we have no floaters. So, we're going to have to mitigate the fall distance. Uh, one... Two, how are we going to get down here? Let's see. Uh, we've got a fencer, so the fencer is going to go right here. All right, yeah, you just take the time to pause and figure it out. We're going to need a basher right here. Okay, let's step forward our frames. See just who should do what when. So if we go here, so he's going to bash through that and then we frame step to here but not quite yet because this one has to do some building so we're gonna go ahead and have him fence at this point so yeah this is very well suited for frame stepping I see I get it very nice okay so then all right the first builder should be finishing so oh see I missed it I was trying to pay attention to too many things at once. Let's magically lift you up out of the water and resurrect you so that you can build here. Excellent. All right. So there we go. All right. And then you're going to need to bash through pretty soon, probably before he starts building. Okay. Very nice. And then you go. Let's see. What? Uh, what's the best course of action here? Okay. Yeah. So he's going to stack right here. Um. Okay, so yeah, he's going to stack. The stackers work differently, so he won't go over the stack. Very good. Okay, so I think we can go like this for now. Very nice. Okay, so now we pay attention to over here. Now I think we're more or less done frame stepping. It's just that first bit of the level that really requires it. There we go. Build and build and build. You've made a nice little wall there for your... For your friends and compatriots and now you're gonna be the one who dies because you have to you have to stone up right here this is gonna be unfortunate but such is the way of the lemming life sometimes you're called upon to give your little lemming life in the line of lemming duty bop okay so that should be good i think that covers both heights so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and fast forward it yeah, the fast forwarding just doesn't feel as fast to me as it used to be. Maybe it's to prevent you from, like, overusing it and accidentally going past things too much. There we go, yeah. Fall height mitigated, three limbings saved, and that's just part of the terrain now. So we're not even, we're not even thinking about that as a limbing anymore. It's just a statue embedded in a wall there to do a job. Right on. Very good. I'm... I, that level went much better than the last one. I'm I'm a little more a fan of that one. Let's move on and try to do uh, maybe one more, maybe a couple more. Who knows? Big steps through the snow. 20 lemmings. Gotta save them all. The snow tile set can be very intimidating sometimes. Hello, Mr. Snowman. Frame stepping can also be used to rewind and skip longer periods than just single frames for when you have long bridges to build or distances to walk. Oh, so this is... This is uh, using frame stepping to uh, to make really long, tedious levels uh, not so bad. Like, you know, uh, Hunt the Nessie type levels. Three will skip ahead ten seconds, which is also close to the duration of builder slash platformer takes. I have noticed that in the past, believe it or not. One will rewind one second for when you miscalculate longer sections. Eight can be used to skip to the next shrugger, the animation at the end of a builder. Train these buttons in this level. Uh, and I have changed my hotkey layout already. Like, three and... Um, eight can be used to skip to the next shrugger. Okay, interesting. Weird. I don't know if I'm going to use that so much. But, yeah. So, this should be uh, a pretty big level here. Alright, so the shimmier is going to go up. Oh, shoot. I messed it up. Alright, well, now I'm having a frame step again. Here we go. Okay. So, ah. Uh, all right, so there we go. We want to do it from right here. Make your make your little climb, my boy. Okay, 
So let's go up over the rocks. Okay, so here is what this is all about. All right, so we're going to go from... Uh, pretty much generally the edge is probably safe. Let's, let's try it. So three... So yeah, this makes those long bridge building things much easier. Okay. Very nice. Alright. And you just start building. Three. Yeah. About the amount of time it takes to get to the end. So there we go. We've got another thing going here. Now, do we have a trap in here anywhere? That's uh, This is a long walk. Let's see if the lemming survives it. Okay, yeah. He got to there. There we go. Alright. Almost, almost lost track of him there, but yeah. This makes these long, tedious builder levels move really fast. Okay, so we're not quite gonna get up gonna get up there yet. Okay, this must be why we have 30 builders. Just in case, you know. That is not what I wanted at all. What the heck, dude? Okay. So then this will skip ahead to the next shrugger, right? There we go. Yeah, that skipped right ahead to when he stopped building the bridge. Interesting. Okay, so, alright, let's get him. Oh, wow, okay, yeah, and then it pauses. Oh, wow, very, very neat. Very neat little piece of uh, technology there. Alright, so that should seal that up just fine. Okay, let's, let's step back a little. Get out. Why don't you pull your second tile back out there? Yeah, let's go to the shrugger. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, so the 8 key actually... Uh, is kind of useful, but I think we've made it out, so now let's go free everybody else. We can press right to get this going. There we go. And then skip. Yeah, there we go. All right. And then we can skip the long walk to the end as well. We can get over to here and then beep, beep, beep. Just pressing three until lemmings start showing up near the exit. So yeah, that level took six minutes of game time. But we skipped a lot of it. Probably aren't going to see many levels like this in the game. But, man, they sure do make a lot of levels in regular Lemmings and Oh No More Lemmings. They make them way less of a pain. Looking at you, like, Hunt the Nessie. That's the one I think of. That's the level that comes to mind when I think tedious builder level is Hunt the Nessie. My personal pick for that that pops right into my head. Let's do one more. Let's... Let's risk doing Unamas here. Getting into sorting. 14 lemmings. Gotta say 14. We have numbers here. Uh, so it looks like... Okay, so 2, 3, 4, 5. 2, 3, 2... Okay, what do all these numbers mean? I guess the game will tell me. Maybe if I click ahead, Jess. Hurt the dirt. Hatches can release lemmings with permanent skills already assigned to them. In this case, they are marked with the icon of that skill. Normally, lemmings are equally spread among all hatches, but some hatches can be limited to spawning a certain number of lemmings. Exits can also be limited in the number of lemmings they can take. Ooh, okay. Hovering the cursor over a lemming will give information on his status on the left side above the skill bars. So you now have the task of deciding which group of lemmings to release first and which exits they need to take. Think ahead here. Oh, gosh. Okay, so... So they're all contained for the timing. So we have a disarmor. Okay. Okay, what's... Okay, climber. And we have four bashers. Okay, where's the trap? Alright, so we have one lemming here. One... Okay, so two lemmings, actually. So, alright. How do we want to do this? Alright. I think what we want to do, maybe... I bet we want to release... Huh. So, we want to release these guys first. We only have one disarmor. Or two disarmor. We have two disarmors. They need to go here. But they don't need to go first. They need to go... So, I have to save everybody. Alright, so... Okay, these can only take... So, we can only take three lemmings here. Okay, I think I see it. Okay, so... We want to go ahead and dig these guys out. So, one, two, three. So, yeah, all these exits will be taken up. Very nice. So, and then... 
One, two, three, four, one, two. Okay. Pretty sure we want to let them out first. Because that's three lemmings. And one, two, three. So those exits will be completely used up. One, two, three. Okay, so. Will it like will the door shut as soon as it's done? No, it just has a zero over it. Okay. One, zero. Okay, so now. Alright, we have two climbers. Now we want to get all of these climbers out, I think. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright. They might... This might be weird. Like, he's going to go all around the way from it. So now, the, they are going to skip this one entirely because it's down to zero. This is an interesting little sortie we've got here. So two and two up here. So your climbers are supposed to go here. So now... Yeah, you have these two guys. They go one, disarm, one, disarm. And then the others... Let's see, that leaves... That leaves... Okay, yeah, so he's gonna go over here. Yeah, three, four... Yeah, that leaves the rest of the lemmings to be saved by the disarmers. Okay, so... We have to wait for him to get over and climb up. Okay, so now he's climbing. So, all right, you go ahead. There we go. You're each going a different direction. Perfect. That is pretty much exactly what I wanted. So now, yeah. Bash. Okay, I like how that... Very nice. I love how that sorted out. That was a fun one to piece together. I really enjoyed that level. That one is super cute. Okay, so now, and then... They can just uh, save themselves as they see fit. So now the animation is stopped. The trap is disarmed. One, two, three. And then, let's see. Yeah, I think I think that's everybody else at this point. Two lemmings going here. Three lemmings going next. So yeah, one of them has a long walk ahead of him. But that is perfectly okay. We can push the number three. I want to see them get to the exit. Because this feels like one of those earned solutions. Like... That one was pretty good. I like how that was broken up. So, there we go. Into the hatch. We shouldn't have too many more object levels left. I don't want to say we're going to finish it next time. But we are getting closer and closer to that basic training. When we're going to... Eco Talat is going to throw us from the nest. And we are going to fly free in the crazy realm of the Neo Limb Mix. Quite frankly, I'm scared. Maybe you're not, but you know what? I'm man enough to admit when I am. So...